In this practical example we will create the grid and insert the lines that will serve as the basis for creating the structure later. With the drawing created in the previous example opened, let's get started. We click to create the grid and in the open box we first define a name. Next, we define the coordinate system as WCS. We enter the values of the axes, watch. We updated the name of the axes. We enter the values of the lines. We updated the name of the lines. We set the values of the platforms. We updated the name of the platforms. Finally, we define the font size of axes, lines, and platforms names. We click on create to create the configured grid. We then create a specific layer for the grid. With the command line, we will insert lines to complement the grid. We create the lines that will serve as the basis for the bracing profiles. Now let's complement the grid, adding a new part using lines, track. To make it easier, we activate the orthogonality command, ortho. With this the grid is complete, and in the next example we will add the profiles. We conclude here this example, where we review the creation of the grid and its complementation through common AutoCAD lines.